get something straight. The smell of vanilla is unmistakable, and it practically defines a pleasant fragrance. But if you've ever been drawn in to taste what you thought was pure vanilla, you've probably been pretty disappointed. So why the discrepancy? To answer this question, we should probably take a look at what vanilla really is. A genus of plants that originated in Mexico and Central America, where it was cultivated for centuries by the Totonac and Aztec people before being introduced to the rest of the world. Vanilla was first used as a flavor additive for chocolate, and only later made its way into other sweets like ice cream. And by the way, according to the International Ice Cream Association, which really does exist, vanilla is by far the most widely preferred flavor of ice cream. Anyway, the primary component of vanilla that contributes to its taste and smell is a compound known as vanillin, or 4-hydroxy-3-methoxybenzaldehyde, which is actually easier to make synthetically in the lab than vanilla is to cultivate. So many of our favorite snacks don't come from real vanilla beans, but you can't really tell the difference in their taste or smell. Pure vanilla extract, on the other hand, is made from actual vanilla beans dissolved in at least 35% alcohol. And that alcohol is what makes the taste of vanilla extract so harsh and biting. The vanilla itself, mainly its vanillin, both smells and tastes amazing. But why? I mean, other kinds of plants and beans certainly don't have such a distinctive and pleasant smell. So why does vanilla? What kind of evolutionary advantage does it provide for vanilla to be so attractive to humans? Well, according to Dave Asprey, CEO of Bulletproof, and proponent of upgraded vanilla. Vanilla can actually increase your mental performance. Now, you have to keep in mind that Asprey is advertising a product here, but he does bring up some fascinating points. The vanilloid compounds found in vanilla are powerful anti-inflammatory agents, many of which are also found in spices such as ginger and cayenne, which are well known for their medicinal properties. Its anti-inflammatory properties cleanse the brain of cytokines like TNF-alpha, which are known to harm mental function. Vanilla also helps to deplete what's known as substance P, a pain signaling chemical correlated with diseases like arthritis. On top of all that, vanilla has been reputed to relieve stress, and recent studies have even found that its fragrance can help to relieve impotency in older men. Researchers at the National Center for Scientific Research in France also found that the smell of vanilla helped to ease breathing problems and sleep apnea in premature infants. So clearly vanilla has many positive effects on the human body, which is why it's so attractive in the first place. The only problem is that artificially produced vanilla, while it's by no means harmful, won't necessarily give you all of those benefits. It might have the same flavor, but that means you don't really have an excuse for eating buckets of vanilla ice cream at a time if they're not even made from real vanilla. So today we learned that real vanilla both smells and tastes great because it has medicinal properties. Vanilla extract smells great because of the vanilla inside it, but doesn't taste so good because it's mixed with alcohol. And most vanilla-flavored snacks today are really just playing with your brain.